All right, so in this in this video, I'm going to be addressing something. So I got a comment the other day on one of my other videos and someone asked, does a fair value gap need to be completely filled for me to trade it, for me to be interested in it? Does that imbalance, does it have to be completely closed in? Okay. So what's an example of an imbalance being completely closed in? Well, I'm going to use this one since I traded this. Okay. And this is AUD and CD, by the way, in case you want to pull up your charts and follow along with me. All right. So here is our fair value gap with our order block. Now, let me plot it on here real quick. So what makes a fair value gap? Three candles. One, two, three. See that? One, two, three. You take the high of this one to the bottom of that one, of that third one, and you got your imbalance in here. See how it didn't get tested in here? The so price is what? It's not efficiently delivered. So price is going to want to retrace back into that zone and efficiently deliver the price action. Okay? And that's exactly what it did. This is a prime example, literally to the pip of an imbalance being completely filled and then reversing higher. Okay. Now the question is, is it 100% necessary? It's not. So I want to make that very, very, very clear. The imbalance, of course you can wait for it. You can wait for it to completely fill. That's up to you. But it's what I want to get across is just because it's not completely filled does not mean that it's not. 100% effective. It's still very effective even when it's not filled. And I'm going to give you an, another example of that. Okay. But that's just an example of it being completely filled. It completely closed in the imbalance between these three candles. Now, what's an example of an imbalance not being completely filled that you could have capitalized on? Well, right here. Here's another one. One, two, Three. There is your imbalance. One, two, three. Three candles make the imbalance. See how nothing was tested in here. See how none of this was tested. Price didn't come back into it and wick down into it. Therefore, price is not efficiently delivered. It's going gonna, it's gonna to want to retrace back into that. Now, does it need to completely fill this on this move lower for you to take a buy? It does not. Okay. It just needs to trade into that imbalance. What else do we have in this? This is kind of outside of the scope of what I wanted to get into. I really just wanted to go over fair value gaps, but you have what? You have an order block in here. One, two, three, all one order block. And then you have your discount array in here these swing highs inside a discount market that's where price found support so it traded inside of this imbalance took out sell side liquidity it does not have to completely fill in that fair value gap right there for it to be effective all right it traded inside the imbalance inside a discount market taking out sell side liquidity testing a discount array boom there's your trade right there what happened it found support came up and then attacked this buy side and then attack this buy side right here. So that's all. I just want to make a quick video on that just to clear it up because I don't believe I went over it in my first fair value gap video, which I'll leave in the video description. But yeah, it does not have to be completely filled for it to give you a play. Okay. So if you found this video useful, make sure you like it. Didn't find it useful. Make sure you at least dislike it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. And if you want to join my free Discord chat, there will be a link to that in the video description. If you want more exclusive mentorship, that is in the video description as well. Okay. So, yep, I will catch y'all later.